What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Joker to you guys. Boy, did I have an experience that we are going to talk about right now. Now, you guys, I get to the AMC theaters. I check in at the front. I go get me some snacks, right? I get me a large drink. My birthday's on Monday, so I got a free coupon for a large drink and a large popcorn. I get my zero calorie orange Fanta. I walk to the theater and I sit out. Everything is going fine, you guys. About an hour and a half into the movie, the projector goes black. And all I hear are the background noises. Spoilers, you guys. We're talking spoilers. Spoiler, 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 spoiler warning. So this is literally moments after the explosion at the courthouse. So Arthur walks outside. He sees that other Joker and he's grabbing him and they're running off. And then it goes completely black. I don't know what happens at the end of this movie. So I looked up on Twitter and found out what happened to Arthur and Arthur was murdered in Arkham. I am so pissed right now that I couldn't experience the ending. I sat, look, I already sat through the entire movie, right? I sat through the musicals. I'm not a musical guy. So every time the musical, you know, the, the aspect or the, you know, the components of the musicals were on the screen, I zoned out. I was counting up at the ceiling how many squares were next to the speakers. You guys, I'm just not a musical person. And the musical components for this film did not fit whatsoever. It took me out of the whole movie. Every single time somebody would start singing, I just didn't like it. So that frustrated me. I had such a terrible experience, you guys. Like, I'm so upset. I am not gonna go back to the theaters and rewatch this movie. I'm not. Yeah, granted, I don't have to pay for it because I have the A-list program. I just don't have time to waste like that. I am a father and I am a husband and I work you guys. That's the frustrating part. So now it's like, I hope somebody links it online so I can watch that last 30 or 45 minutes that I missed of this movie. I am so incredibly frustrated, you guys. I can't stress that enough because I was looking forward to doing my review for this Joker movie, you guys. So what did I think of what I saw? I thought the elements of Arkham worked well. The beginning I thought was great. Seeing Arthur in there, seeing just how he feels so defeated. He was quiet. I thought all that was great. The guards were just an absolute, you know, a-holes to him. I feel like it fell off. When they introduced Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. Oh, sorry. Lee. Lee. She's Lee. She's Lee. Weird. Whatever. I thought it fell off after that. Now, there were still moments I really liked. I, there were still moments I enjoyed. But whenever she appeared on the, on, on the screen, I just, I didn't buy it. And I didn't like it. Like, her character to me was just whatever. She didn't really service the plot of the movie. I feel like she was just completely unnecessary. I would have went full throttle and done an Arkham Asylum Part 2 for Joker without the musical elements, without Harley Quinzel and just Joker and his experience in Arkham. That's what I would have did. I said this from day one and I'm going to continue saying this. I would have did, I would have, look, okay, Todd Phillips took inspiration for the first movie from Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver. Dope. Loved it. I would have took inspiration from One of Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson and had Arkham and Arthur Fleck and I would have had Amanda Waller in them like as like, you know, the antagonist of the movie. Had her be like, you're Nurse Ratchet, you guys. It could have worked. It could have absolutely been a banger. But just the musical elements, you guys, really was unnecessary. Yes, it was beautifully shot. Yeah, the cinematography was great. The score, amazing. But the musical elements, you guys, is what really, really killed it for me. And Lady Gaga as Lee. The courtroom scenes I thought were great. Minus, minus Harvey Dent and minus the singing. I thought the interrogation on, or the cross-examination on Puddles, his little, his little friend, right? Um, in the first Joker film. Loved that scene. I thought it was very effective and very emotional because you realize the trauma 
that Arthur created for this man. He said his life was never the same. He could never, he's, he's, he's living his life in constant fear, which I really liked. His performance was great, really good. And Joaquin Phoenix, of course, you guys, he delivers a, a, an astonishing performance yet again as Arthur Fleck Joker. The guards, I felt so bad when that one guard, the main guard, ended up killing one of the other Arkham inmates because he was singing. I felt so bad. And that, like, it triggered something on Arthur. They, you know, he insulted them on live TV. They felt some kind of way. So when he got back to Arkham after, you know, the, the court hearing, they beat him brutally. Like, it was bad. I'm glad they didn't show it. I didn't want to see it. But other than that, you guys, the scenes Joker or Arthur Fleck and, you know, Lee shared didn't care for Especially the scene where, you know, <laughs> he loses his virginity to her. I was like, okay, this is unnecessary. And I was like, are you even real? Like, I, that's the frustrating point. So I'm like, I, I don't know. Is she real? Like, I don't, you guys, I missed the last 45 minutes of this movie. I don't know what happens. Like, explain to me what happens at the end of this movie. Going into the end after the courthouse explosion. You guys, like, where does the Harley character end up? Was she real? Was she not real? And then I saw what happened at the end. I went on Twitter, like I said, and I was like, okay, I got it. I got to know what happens. Like, I'm, I was pissed. I was like, I got to know. I, spoiler alert, I don't care. Whatever. And, you know, he ended up, you know, he was killed by somebody in Arkham. Another inmate killed him. Stabbed him to death at the end of the movie. I was like, damn, what a bummer. I would have loved to experience that. Such a shame, you guys. Do I think this movie was absolutely terrible? No, I don't think it was terrible. As far as sequel goes for comic book movies, it's not as bad, I would say, as Shazam Fury of the Gods, or it's not as bad as Wonder Woman 1984, but still it had some good moments where they were cooking, where I was like, okay, this is pretty good. It just got lost in the big swings that Todd Phillips wanted to do and didn't really necessarily land on the big jumps that they had envisioned, you guys. I don't know how much was cut out of this movie. I don't know what they really edited it down to, but I'm curious to know further down the line what really happened with this movie post-production. Did James Gunn give notes? Were there any issues with DC Studios? Were they like, no, take that out. We're not okay with that. I don't know. When James Gunn took over DC, you know, they were already cooking with, you know, Joker 2, right? And so he was like, okay, he can't come in and be like, take this out and do that. That would be a little bit too much. But I don't know, you guys. I'm like I'm still bummed about my my experience. Like I'm so pissed off about my experience that I don't know what happens, you guys. That I won't be able to find out or at least watch the ending till it comes out on HBO Max. You know what I mean? And that could be all the way until January. Who knows? You know? I don't know how long Joker Two is going to be in theaters. I know it's not doing great right now on Rotten Tomatoes. The tomato score I think is like 39, and then for you know, the audience score is below that. It's absolutely terrible. It's underperforming for a Thursday, you know, viewing yesterday. It's not going to hit that billion dollar mark. It's not, I don't even think it's going to come close to $600 million because of the bad word of mouth. There's been nothing but bad word of mouth for Joker. All the reviews I've seen, the non-spoilers that is, people were just really gutting this movie. Like, honestly, they were just gutting this movie apart. And I get the, the conflict and, I, and I, I get where people's issues were with this movie. It just felt like the musical elements were just so out of place and they were just thrown in there. They're like, well, we have to do something drastically different than the first movie. Let's throw in it, you know, have the half of the movie be a whole musical, you know? And like I said, I appreciate the big swings and them trying to do something new. But when you have the recipe, right? You have the recipe. Why not continue that recipe? Why would you want to throw in some walnuts? Why would you want to throw in some cranberries into your, your potato salad, right? That's like, it makes no sense to me. If they would have just continued the tone and the aesthetic, everything that first Joker had, which there were elements in this film that did have. I was like, oh, give me more of that. Give me more of that. Give me more of that. And then other things came into play. Other things came into play, you guys. Ah, oh, dude, such a bummer. Hey, it's cool seeing Zazzy Beats too. I did not expect her to, you know, be uh, uh, on, on, you know, in the courtroom hearing, being, you know, cross-examined. That was awesome. Or even seeing that whole experience because we all thought she died. Remember, we were like, oh my God, Sassy Beats died, he killed her. But he didn't at the, you know, in the first Joker film, he let her and her daughter live. But that was cool seeing her or him, her explaining what Arthur's mom would, would be telling her about Arthur and seeing how that was getting underneath his skin because you're bringing back all that, you know, that trauma that he was, you know, 
that he dealt with as a child because you know he was brutally beaten and you know assaulted i don't want to get into it because it's very sad you know i was like damn i, I feel for arthur you know it's, just, it's, it's definitely sad but there you guys have it let me know what you guys think in the comments down below what did i miss after the explosion at the courtroom hearing let me know you guys i want to know in depth in details let me know thank you guys and of course Appreciate each and every one of you guys for tuning in to C-Roll Productions. Have you guys a wonderful day.